What's up guys, Steve here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to go over pre-trip photos, pre and post trip. So it's gonna be the same process for the beginning and the end. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow along. I got a lot more tips and tricks coming in the future. And I also got a bunch of drama that's coming up you guys aren't gonna to wanna to miss. So make sure you guys subscribe and let's get right into it. So this is what the process is that I normally go through for doing good pre-trip photos for your vehicle. Remember, Turo always wants, you know, 10 to 15. We're gonna go way past that. I usually try and get about 100 to 150, usually close to that 150 mark. And I'll show you how we end up going about that. I'll do a screen recording here. So normally what I'll do is get all my angles. So we get right up front. Angles are key. Angles, angles, angles. Let's go dead on from the side. Kind of get down the body lines. Down here, from the back and go up top. And I do the same process with every car, whether it's lifted, lowered, whatever you got. Over here, hopefully this is still screen recording on my phone. We'll go here, right there, and then in the front. So now that I got my pictures, up front, down low, this will catch if anything's dragging, anything on the undercarriage, especially with Jeeps, I wanna know if it's being off-road. So now that I got all the way around the car, I'm gonna go down here, right here, this will give me good tire depth, along with the undercarriage, and I just go through and I'm clicking, clicking all the way around. From the front to the back, and this covers every inch of it. And once I get from there, now I'm going around the sides. All the way around, down into the wheels, get good solid shots of the wheels, the rims. So now you know for curb rash. Same thing up to the front. Back out here, I'm going around. So now I made it from driver's side, all the way up and over, around. Now we got passenger side. So down by the wheels, that gets your tire depth. and then try and get the, obviously I'm getting the, the hard top, back down, and then we're going back around the side. And this is just getting everything in detail from front to back. Okay, so once again, still coming through, getting the wheels, and this will help you out for any curb damage, or if you're in a Jeep, you got the rock damage, anything like that. Okay, so now that we got the exterior done, we're gonna jump into the interior, so I'm gonna open up the doors and I'll go through the same thing. I'm just gonna keep going, get the door panels, I'll get the whole door jammed, so that way if there's any kind of dings or anything on the inside, and as well as the carpet. Just keep going, interior seats, bottom. All right, so we'll do the backrest and start work our way up, going up to the roof, all the way around, and then back down. This will also help get the windshield from the inside out, the dash, floor mats and I'll come in here and this will get your I'll have the ignition on but this will get your mileage and fuel as well as the dash passenger dash you can kind of start working your way around and same thing with the roof center console I'll even open these things up just to see what we got then we start jumping in the back so we'll do the same thing I'll go to the back panel door jam B post back, back down to the C post or you know normal cars are gonna have a C post here and we'll go through so it'll be picture picture same thing with the seats start rolling all the way around the roof all that stuff back of the seats because you'll get a lot of scuffs people throwing trash back in here down to the floors and obviously you see i got car seats in here we're just kind of rolling with what we got so that'll cover the front and back seats then we'll jump on over here okay so we'll come to the back open everything up just like the front get the windows up and same thing, I'm gonna take pictures of the back door, back hatch, the back glass, make sure everything's intact. And just everything back in here, pictures, pictures, pictures. If it's not on pictures, it didn't really happen. So we'll close this up and basically start the same process, just over here. Got a little bit of wind. <laughs> same process, door jams, door panels, all the way up back around, seats, and this will just cover for any kind of stains that we got going on. And same thing up here. Good door panel, glass, jams, 
seats, and this is just angles. Once again, angles on everything. The whole time I'm going through here, it's just picture, 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 picture. That's how I end up with at least 150, but it covers my butt. We used to do, uh, I know this is a spare, but we used to throw tread depth gauge on each tire, front and rear. Had a couple times where people just roast through tires on sports cars, and Turo said, oh, there's still good tread on there, so it's good, so we couldn't charge the renter, even though they took more than 50% of the life of the tire. It was just kind of all bad. So after that, we just basically just took good pictures, and it'll show, you come in here, come to the side, there is these little indicators right there. There's a little indicator. It's really hard to tell, but there's an indicator right there, and that's basically at 2.30 seconds. So that'll cover you up until then. So yeah, I don't even have to show anything, showing that there's depth in there. Like I said, I just get down in there. You can see that there's good tire tread depth on it. And instead of sticking something in there and wasting time every time, I just go through and make sure I get a close up of it and work my way up and around. So that's how I cover myself. Like I said, any and every angle you can because if you get hit on that front right quarter panel and it just tweaks the whole frame and it shows over here they may only see damage on the passenger side and if you don't have pictures to prove that the whole frame twisted the whole body twisted then it may not be covered so make sure you get angles 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 any and every picture you can some people go as far as to do an engine compartment and all that I'm not really too worried about people swapping out parts and I also keep everything as stock as possible. So in a nutshell, that's how I go over it and that's how I end up with my 150, 160 pictures. So hope this helps you guys out. Like, subscribe, keep following along. I got some more stuff coming up that you guys aren't gonna wanna miss. A lot of, a lot of drama happening with somebody that I helped out getting going with Turo and uh, he's gonna be jumping on the channel. Make sure you stay subscribed so you guys know it's coming. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.